talking to. Hello. How are you? My name is. Okay, fuck all that intro shit. <laughs> um, but not for real, like, hey y'all. <laughs> it's been a minute, it's been a few months since I last posted. Um, a lot's been going on. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I've been working a shit ton. I mean, like, 11, 12-hour days, even off my off days. Like, y'all, it's been a mess. But you know what I'm saying? I have goals I'm trying to meet um, financially. So, I mean, sacrifice a little now and get a lot later, you know? So, it is what it is. But I wanted to come on here today because I'm actually off today. I did some overtime early this morning, so I don't have nothing else to do for the rest of the day but be out and do what I need to do for me. So, I'm moving in a couple of weeks. Ah, I'm so fucking excited. I think the last time I talked to y'all or said anything about moving, I was going to be living with a roommate. Well, that kind of fell the fuck through, unfortunately. It would have been nice to save some money, but, I mean, it is what it is. That fell through. Did nothing happen or nothing like that. Me and her are still good friends. Um, it's just not the best time for her to move. So, it's absolutely okay. Ain't no beef going on. So, I'm going to just say that. Um, but I'm moving in a couple of weeks. So, I have a few errands to run to get prepared for that. Like, I really moved two weeks from today. Today is February 20th. Not February. It is January 27th. And I move on February 10th, so by the time y'all actually see this video, I, I probably have like a week or something like that until I move. Of course, I'm going to bring y'all on the moving process because I want to be back active on here. Like, I feel like at this point in my life, I've been putting a lot of things on the back burner because of my job. And I don't want to do that no more. Like, I was supposed to then start, like, taking clients and stuff. Cause, you know I'm a licensed esthetician now or whatever but I've been working so hard at my job I've been giving them motherfuckers the most of me and I have not put any of that energy into my own things so I'm trying to pull back from that so any free time that I do have from now on it's gonna be of course dedicated to content creation it's gonna be dedicated to getting my business off the ground because the goal was to have a suite this year but I'll get a suite when the good lord wants me to have a suite and if that's not this year cool if that's next year I'm fine with that so it's just gonna happen when it's supposed to happen I'm not gonna put no timeline on it because I feel like when you put certain timelines on things you just kind of stretch yourself out and I'm not trying to do that I just want to live life and take everything as it comes versus having to meet a certain deadline to have everything by because it's, it's just not worth it it's not worth the stress it's not worth the depression when you don't meet them in the time that you need to or that you set them to so yeah but anywho that was enough ran, ran, bl, ram that was enough rambling <laughs> I am hungry as hell so I'm going to Cane's. I know everybody usually starts off their videos going to Starbucks. Da, 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 da. That's not this type of motherfucking day. A bitch is hungry. I ain't ate all day because I've been working, cleaning, and getting cute for my day. So I ain't ate. And I'm hungry. Cane's is going to be quick. I don't really want that. I really want to go sit down at a restaurant and have a couple drinks. I'll probably do that later. But as of right now, Cane's is going to suffice because I got some ripping and running to do. And of course Kane's can sit next to me and I can eat my damn chicken so yeah I'm going to Kane's and then after that I'm going to this furniture store because I found a couch that I am absolutely in love with for my new apartment but I need to see it in person to make sure I actually one like the comfort and the feel of it and two that I truly truly like it and I just wasn't influenced when I saw it on the internet so I'm gonna go see that in person today I of course have to go to U-Haul I need to do quite a few things just to prepare for my move and 
you know, just get out of the house. Because I'll, I'll be in the house every weekend, y'all. Because I don't be doing it. Also, one of my best friends is coming to town this weekend. I'm so fucking excited. We just gonna turn up. Her flight actually lands late tonight, so I'm going to pick her up late tonight. So I get to do all my ripping and running that I need to do before she get here. Um, yeah. So, I know, I've been gone. That wasn't intentional. Like, I filmed videos while I was gone. However, comma, I didn't like the footage, so I didn't post them, and that kept happening over and over and over again, which ended up leading to me not posting for three months. Ugh, yikes. Ah, but it's okay. We're getting back on track <laughs> this week. Like, I'm hitting the ground running because I have goals I'm trying to achieve, and I'm not trying to work at my job for 30 plus years i don't see how them baby boomers and what's my parent gen x are they gen x i don't know i don't know i don't know who gen whatever whoever the boom after the boomers my parents generation i don't see how they work for the same company for 20 plus years i personally i just hit a year at the company i'm at and i'm like damn it's really trying it's time to go so yeah that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to move the fuck around however comma i did just get a promotion um so that's great um i've only been there a year and i already got a promotion also i don't know why they didn't get a job through because <laughs> i just got in front of them but that's their business <laughs> But I just got a promotion and then I'm getting another raise, so I'm really excited about that. But I can't stay there. Like, y'all, I work in customer service. Yes, I work in insurance, but I work the customer service side of insurance. Handling claims, talking to people every day, all day. And then people are rude as fuck. So I cannot do that for the rest of my life. So I gotta get my shit together so I can move around. But, yeah. I'm just on here rambling because I really feel like I need to catch up with y'all. Hold on, it's it's my turn to order. Do I want four or three today? Let's find out. Hey, what chicken? Want some chicken? Um, can I get the three finger combo? It's a drink. Can I get a lemonade, please? I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue. He just want a semi-automatic with a drum. Alright y'all, I got my motherfucking food. Uh, I'm gonna go to the furniture store first because it is the furthest away from me, um, at least from where I live now. I used to live around the corner from it, but that apartment tried to go with corner. They didn't rent too much money, so I had to get the fuck out. So yeah. They good. They cook that fresh. You can always tell when canes ain't fresh because all their food tastes the same, so it's not like they really gotta do too much to it. But you can always tell when their food ain't fresh. Always. Because you know what it's supposed to taste like every single time. But anyway, the furniture, ooh, the furniture store I'm going to is called Nebraska Furniture Mart. They're in some states. They're not in all states because I know at least Memphis ain't had one. And I don't think Tennessee got one at all. And to my knowledge, Mississippi doesn't have one. Because Olive Branch didn't have one at all. They don't mean they don't exist. But to my knowledge, it ain't one there. So anyway, I'm going there. A couch I fell in love with on TikTok. It's not a cloud couch. Because I don't fucking like the cloud couches. I mean, I like the look of them. But realistically, those pillows and cushions having to fluff them after somebody sit on them every single time that's not for me that's not my vibe so uh i'm going a different route so i'm excited to go see that and then i need to go to target y'all my dog my motherfucking dog i love her to death but she chewed up my fucking apple pencil not the little hundred dollar one the $130 Apple Pencil, my dog chewed it up. I am sick. So I'm really debating on if I want to buy a new one today or not. We gonna figure it out. I'm gonna go to Target, browse around. Cause I need a phone case. I just bought the iPhone 14 or whatever. I need a phone case for that. 
because I'm out here naked and I ain't trying to have that break because I just got there like two days ago. Um, but we're gonna see if I buy another Apple pencil. I mean, I'm gonna buy one eventually if I don't buy it today, but we'll see if it's in my heart to spend $130 on that today. I also need to go to U-Haul and get some boxes. I was gonna go to my old job, Ulta, and just ask them for some boxes, but fuck them, because I don't really fuck with them. I don't really fuck with them, so I'm gonna just go pay for some boxes. I mean, how much could they really be? I maybe need like 20, maybe 30 total. Maybe it, I hope it's not a dollar a box. Girl, it's just not some fucking boxes. What about the tape? Like, that's crazy. But we're gonna find out when I get there, but first, first, first things first, Nebraska. Okay, so I done left Nebraska Furniture Mart. I actually left there about an hour ago. Um, <laughs> I'll insert a clip of the couch here. Well, like before this or somewhere on the screen. Somewhere so y'all can see it. I love the couch. Um, I'm gonna get the couch. I just don't want to get it yet. Because I haven't moved yet. And, I mean, I don't, it don't really make sense for me to buy that couch until I've sold my old couch. Because where the hell is going to go? And I'm not going to just be sitting with a couch in storage. So, I'm going to try to sell, sell my current couch pretty soon. Like, cleaning it up. Because my dog lays on it. So, I'm going to, of course, get it deep cleaned vacuumed all that good stuff and then try to put it on like facebook marketplace offer up put it in the facebook group chats or whatever um that i'm in to try to get rid of that couch because that new couch yeah she's she's it for me um i also need to double check the dimensions to make sure they fit my current apartment so i probably can't even buy the couch until after I move in so I can make sure it's big enough for the wall that I'm imagining that it's going to go on in my new apartment. So, yeah, now I'm just at Target. Honestly, I don't know why I came to Target. I mean, I'm, I'm here, so I might as well, but I don't really know why I came here. I didn't really need nothing. Um, But, you know, I mean, I kind of need a phone case so I can look at those at least. Um also need comforter set to be honest i kind of need it now i mean i know i'm moving in a couple of weeks and i can get it then but i kind of need it now to be honest so yeah i'm gonna look at those options and then go from there and then try to make it to u-haul i didn't get to every single place that i want to go um i'm honestly really tired <laughs> like i'm drained i was supposed to start my day at like nine o'clock this morning i didn't get out until one sue me i don't know i'll be tired and i'm tired now because i put so much energy into cleaning up my apartment <laughs> oh, now i just want to go home eat some snacks and chill i'm such a homebody but like i've been out so i mean you know I really like my face today like it's really giving she's sitting the hair this is a week old wash and go y'all a week old using my tried and true curlsmith products I already have a video up from years ago using this on my hair oh it's already a video there but I'll link it down below just in case you want to check out the video um I started using curlsmith back when I had black hair and my hair is clearly ginger, orange, whatever the fuck you want to call this. Um, and it's been this way for almost three years. So that's how long I've been using Girlsmith. That should let you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my ass up in Target and shop around a little bit. Maybe I'll find some new stuff for my new apartment. Who knows? Come on. Come on.
Come on, let's go. Man, looking at me. Boom. What happened to? Hello. How are you? My name is. <laughs> I've been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I just finished that season. I'm on season three. I'm about to be done with it. I'll be done with it tonight, actually. Y'all want a Target haul? <laughs> because my card is kind of full. <laughs> However, as unnecessary, necessary, some of these items are, it's all from my apartment. So, essentially, it's really necessary, in, in my opinion. But I guess I'm a little biased. Why can't I never find my car? <laughs> oh, I park at Target. <laughs> I look stupid. Oh, never mind. I found it. Hey guys. So, I'm back at Target. Don't ask me why, because it's not for me. Mind your business. Um, actually, for my friend. Say hey. Hi guys. Making my debut on YouTube. Where I'm going? Yeah, YouTube. Because we ain't got nowhere else to post it right now. Um, that's my friend. We've been friends since like the seventh grade, and we are 27 now. Um, well, I'm 27. She's still 26, but she about to be. <laughs> Look, they have to know. Look, I'm grown, baby. So yeah, she's in Dallas, y'all. It took her long enough. I've been here two years. And she just now coming here. And I'm working on year three at this point. But you know, that's besides the fact, besides the point, whatever. She's shopping for a baby shower she's going to today. Well, I didn't like black people to always get gifts at the last minute. I didn't like black people, but I flew. So but she did fly in town, so she did have a reasonable excuse. However, excuses are. But anyway, so yeah. I'm happy to have her in town. It's nice when a little bit of home comes in town to visit me. So now we're just going to be out and about, get drunk. Mimosa wasted today. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna try not to buy anything while I'm in here. No promises. Especially for your apartment. <laughs> See? Valid. I've been looking at these baskets for so long. This little mesh, not mesh, this oh, knitted basket yeah, here. Cute. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I still don't know what exact thing, theme I'm going with this time around. It's still gonna be in the black and white, but I wanna add pops of color. But I don't know how to incorporate that just yet. <laughs> this is trippy. I hope a new walk pass. Cause that's trippy as hell. I want a lot of walk pass so bad.
She's leaving me today. I'm gonna move here. No, she's fine. I'm gonna move here. Yeah. No, she's not. This girl goes where the wind will blow her. <laughs> Like the way I'm like, oh, this way I'm like, oh, okay, okay, that's cool. Just a few months ago, she was talking about moving to like Kentucky or Kansas. Oh, yeah, I was. That was a weird time. <laughs> I was gonna move to Tulsa, too. Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is there? They were giving me some thousand dollars to move down there, so I was like, okay, that's not enough. <laughs> it's not, it's not a lot. That's why I was like, this is not a good idea. Especially for like, you know, I mean, Tulsa, I think, has some good things, but. Mmm, one enough. I need 20. Because that's almost 50. <laughs> that's almost a year rent. It's 20,000. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I just did the math in my head, yeah. Because depending on if you get a what type of place, it's rent you like 26,000 a year. We want to take a shot. Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> okay, you guys. Hold on. <sighs> I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know. I had a good time this weekend. This vlog is horrible. I'm going to post it anyway. But, like, I didn't get really no footage from today. Like, I got some. Not today. I mean, yesterday. My days are running together. But I didn't really get enough footage from like yesterday today because I was too busy enjoying the moment. We did so much stuff. We had such a good time. I'm so glad my friend came in town. Maybe she really will move to Dallas. But I just want to come on here and close out this video. Cause your girl is tired. I was supposed to work today, but I ended up not working. Um, but it is back to your regular scheduled programming tomorrow which you know it is what it is um now i'm just about to watch real housewives of atlanta because as y'all know like i said in the beginning of this vlog i have started from the beginning because i've never seen it so yeah um i really enjoyed myself this weekend this has been one of the best weekends i've had in a hot little minute being in dallas so i'm glad my friend came in town i met some new people and hopefully we can build relationships from that i just had a good old time come here zine come here say y'all uh, say bye to my doggy <laughs> anyway it's been good y'all like i'm trying to get back into the swing of things so don't judge me too hard by how this vlog may be edited or the lack thereof i've already taken my lashes off on the day i'm gonna take this makeup off and i'm gonna just chill and fall asleep i will catch y'all in the next vlog thank y'all for watching bye